Hey guys, today I'm going to teach you how to beat 2.9 Expo with Classic Lava Loon. I hope you benefit from this video. I'm going to be giving you some tips and going through gameplay. And hopefully I'm going to help you reliably beat this matchup. If you do have success after watching this video, hit that like button, sub, and let me know in the comments. Classic Lava versus Expo is actually one of the matchups that I feel have benefited from the Balloon rework because now you can kill an Expo much faster with your Balloon which means you can pretty much have a set strategy for every Expo matchup no matter the situation and what's gonna go on here is you see as you can see here the Balloon takes out the Expo pretty fast it only gets us down to 1000 and the overall strategy for Expo now shifts to using the Balloon on defense. Now why I say this is because if you just save your Balloon for his Expo one you have a reliable counter to his Expo since if you play guards or skeleton dragons he could just like fireball or knight predict or stuff like that and then you're wasting elixir at the bridge and his Expo locks anyways so the Balloon is a reliable counter to the Expo. And what that means is that now your offensive strategy shifts from trying to tower trade or get a balloon push down to using your support units to deal with his troops. Now, why this works is because if you go with the expo um, counter using the balloon, you have to force an uh, answer out from your opponent. So, you know, because I, I don't have a... Um, replay to show you here where this happens because nobody does this but if you are to take his expo with the balloon and he doesn't do anything the balloon is going to get two or three hits on the tower and it's like you can't just ignore the balloon it's going to take the expo and they're going to play an air card or a which is archers tesla or fireball to counter that balloon so it doesn't get damage on their tower now when that happens you can use your support troops as, as a substitute for your balloon. So you will see me go in with Lava Mega Minion, Lava Skeleton Dragons, and Lava Mega Minion is going to be the safest play here because as you can see, um, we forced out his Fireball, and as you can see here, the Mega Minion doesn't die to Fireball. He didn't use it there, but he used the Archers because he had to use your, the Fireball on the other troops. Now, what's going to happen there is you're going to try and bait out his Fireball, usually with Skeleton Dragons, and then what happens is he has nothing to respond to your pups with. And so usually I will always Fireball his Archers, and if he outcycles me and the Archers are not behind the tower, I will zap the Archers to make sure that they die to the pups or something. And as you can see here, once again we go in with the Balloon on the Expo and we actually don't take any damage there as we have 800 on his tower. And so the only thing you have to be careful about is that he cycles fast to another Expo and he outcycles you. Now what's going to happen here is you just want to get good uh, damage out on this expo so he doesn't take your tower. And as you can see there we did go in with the fireball um, because it took out an archer which was used for off it, for defense for his part. And uh, it did damage to the expo so we didn't have to respond to it like with spam and stuff. We were able to deal with the expo pretty easily there since we fireballed and it did a good chunk of damage. And as you can see here, we just want to take out this expo. That's our only goal. And here all we need is a fireball. And this match got a little intense, but it's pretty simple from here on out. He has a fast cycle, but he can't cycle that fast. He needs a whole nother fireball log. And so we just go with the uh cheapest cycle cards. You got the um the guards, the Skeleton Dragon's a zap, and here he was low on elixir, so we didn't need to use our zap there because he couldn't defend the guards. So very good matchup there, um, and I feel like that's played by the book, and that's how most Expo matchups are gonna go if you just stick to these rules. Now here's another matchup versus 2.9 Expo or 3.0. I'm sorry, and it doesn't change like much. You have a set strategy to beat this matchup, and that's what I like versus. Um, matchups in this game is i have a strategy and i'm gonna carry out that strategy and that's how i'm gonna win this game i don't like you know facing random off meta stuff and having to adapt but you know that's just something we've got to deal with so here as you can see we do go in with the uh balloon on his expo nothing different much happened in that matchup we still down to 2900 uh there and now since we defended his expo we're gonna go in with the lava push 
Now Lava Mega Minion is going to be our go-to. Now we're going to use the Fireball on his archers, hopefully as our way to deal damage. And so where this becomes interesting is I kind of explain. I'll kind of explain the strategy here. We go Lava Mega Minion. Hopefully we he doesn't cycle back to a Tesla fast enough. But if he does, what happens is you know we're going here. We get the lava coming in. We're gonna put the Mega Minion behind it. Fireball his archers, and then we're going to try and skeleton dragons the left side towards the middle, or just in the middle to get rid of his Tesla if he's back to it. Then he uses fireball, and hopefully you want to try and make it so it doesn't hit the Mega Minion. That's our goal here. And what happens there is that the lava pups will then get damage. And if not, uh, if he uses for like a knight or something to counter it, we're still going to get some damage out of the lava hound here. Now, as you can see, he's not back to his Tesla. Now he is. <clears throat> and we did try and predict it there. It didn't work as well as I thought it was going to because the uh, Mega Minion did chase the knight across the field. But as you can see, we went with the guards just to try and create more offensive pressure. And it worked like a charm. All we do here is take out the one archer and then the mega minion gets three hits on the tower which is a ton of damage i think it's 1200 damage there and how this just that's how you want to play this matchup and you're not going to be completely stalled is what i'm saying when you do this method because if you go in with the lava and the mega minion you can fireball his archers which are almost always next to the tower and then even if you put the tesla down and fireballs and Thanks for your pups. You still got a lot of chip from the Lava Hound, and that's going to be more than he gets from his Expo, if you can play this right. Um, and you can usually catch him slipping sometimes if you uh, go with your classic loon on his Expo, and he tries to use... Okay, we need to go back there for a second and watch that meaty fireball. That was so splendid. It took out the E-Spirit, hit the Knight, hit the Expo, and hit the Tesla. But yeah, what I was saying is that we're going to outchip him and you can catch him lacking sometimes if he tries to use a fireball or prediction Tesla uh, on your loon that is used to kill his um, expo. And as you can see there, we zap the archers. That's usually what my zap is going to be for in this matchup is either resetting the tower in certain niche situations or um, zapping the archers to make sure that they um, get killed quickly. Um, by your lava pups or your skeleton dragons and they also reset and are stunned for a little bit And so here we just you know play defense on this expo and that's gonna wrap it up and now expo matchups I feel like have gotten a lot more uh, Easier after the rework. So if you did enjoy that video hit the like button subscribe and um, Yeah, I hope that you enjoy that video and I'll be coming out with new more matchup guides soon as well Mwah. Also, do we need to be 10 minute video to be monetized? So if so, we're going to kind of drag this out and say that I do have a new collab series coming in uh, with a lot of different decks, including Lava Hound, not just limited to Lava Hound. So I hope to see you there and um, yeah, peace.